Hi, my name is Dan Metcalf. I'm president of the DMS 11 Academy Soccer Club and owner of the DMS 11 Performance Training Center where we train professional and very high-end soccer players as well as youth soccer players. And I'm Hollywood's expert to the stars, having created soccer projects like Kicking and Screaming with Will Ferrell, Robert Duvall, She's the Man with Amanda Bynes and Channing Tatum, and probably more soccer movies than anybody else in the world. I wanted to find out what was the best soccer ball for us to use for my soccer players, both in terms of feel, bounce, and consistency. I had played with many other types of soccer balls that we've all seen around the world, and decided to look into the Select Soccer Ball. Igel Nilsson was the founder of Select Soccer Balls. Perhaps the biggest change in soccer itself was the internal bladder that Igel created back in 1951 that took out the lace on the top of the ball and also allowed the ball not to leak water inside of it through the lace that used to be there. Igel also created what may be the most common factor in a soccer ball now throughout all companies in the world. It's the 32 panel soccer ball which is made up of hexagons and pentagons that allows you to have a perfectly fitted, symmetrical and at the same time spherical ball that would change shape through the impact but come back to its natural shape as quickly as possible. So the beauty of the 32 panel soccer ball is the fact that when it's compressed, like when you head it or when you kick it, the ball will compress down in here but anywhere you kick it on the ball and the compression happens, the ball will come back to its true natural shape as quick and as truthfully as possible. Some of the new modern soccer balls have put different shapes in there and the reason the ball moves so much is because when you hit the ball in a certain spot, it will come back at different shapes so you have the ball swerving and changing direction. Now, when I'm looking at coaching players or training players or having players consistent with their striking and placement of the ball, if you have a ball that comes back to shape in a different way, I may hit the same spot on the ball each time, but the ball may not be consistent in its direction and accuracy. So I wanted to have something that our players could use that I knew if they repetitively did the same thing again and again, the ball would also react in exactly the same way again and again. That's how you find out your skill and raise the level of your game. Now another part of the ball is the inside, the bladder. Now many of us like to have the soccer ball you pump up once it stays you know, pumped up the whole time and never deflates. That is a butyl bladder. A butyl bladder has basically tighter compounds in the actual bladder that stops the air seeping through. Butyl bladder over time will become hardened. In fact, very quickly it will become hardened, especially if you're in conditions where the weather changes. Unlike a latex bladder that's much softer and has a better feel to it. Now, in the select soccer balls, we do have to pump these soccer balls up the same as any professional team or match official has to. But the beauty of a latex is it's softer and it will maintain its bounce and feel for so much longer than a regular butyl bladder soccer ball. Now select, every single one of their soccer balls is hand stitched and tested for its bounce. So they'll pump it up to the said pressure, bounce it, and a ball has to go within certain parameters, which I know that whatever ball we use, whether we're in a team, we've got 16 balls out there practicing, every player will have the truthful connection feel, which comes from the latex bladder, and the outside of the ball, which has a certain softness, which is beautiful to play with. Now, you can look for the flashy soccer ball, you can look for the name soccer ball that may be the most famous around the world, but Select is consistently known as the best performing soccer ball. Before we started using Select, we didn't have as good a success on the field because I do believe the balls we were using weren't as consistent as the Select. At our club, we use the two soccer balls that I feel are the greatest soccer balls. First off, we have the Select Royale. This is for our U12 and under. It really is the best youth soccer ball that you can get. It has a great weight to it. It has an amazing feel, and our kids absolutely love it. For our 13s and older teams, we use the Select Brilliant Ball. Now, this is an amazing ball that is exactly the same one that the Danish national team use for all their international games. We also know that many, many professional teams use this soccer ball. I highly recommend the Select Soccer Ball for any player that's looking for a great feel, a true bounce, and most importantly, the ability to get the same results kicking the ball again and again to improve your accuracy, power, but at the same time confidence that you can strike, pass, and control a ball.